It's late afternoon at UWM's Klatchy Center, and it is loud. But senior track star Taylor Koss can't hear all the noise. That's because Taylor is completely deaf. Any deaf individual can pursue their dreams and achieve it. Taylor is a Green Bay native and was born deaf. He uses sign language to communicate, often enlisting the help of an interpreter like Teresa. There's a lot of times that I get frustrated. Communication is probably the only thing that I uh, have a tough time with. What's that? Coach Eric Kramer often shouts instructions at his athletes. Get your shoulders tall. You get those hips up. You can get a little more range of motion. You're able to push a little better. But when it comes to Taylor, he's learning to sign what he's saying. It's definitely opened my eyes to help me with my communication. At first, things weren't easy. We actually had interpreters at practice each day, and they would go through and sign everything that I was saying. If I'm trying to improve my skills, I don't necessarily have direct access and clear communication with my coach. And so oftentimes that can be frustrating because I want to get better. And Taylor did get better. At the 2016 Horizon League Outdoor Championships this past spring, Taylor finished second in the 400 meter hurdles. His time of 53.76 broke a 35 year old deaf track and field record in the event. We can do things just as well as people who can hear. And so I wouldn't consider myself disabled whatsoever. This is Taylor's fourth year on the track team here at UWM. The first three years, he was actually a walk-on athlete, but this year he's earned a full scholarship. Coach Kramer says Taylor earned that scholarship the old fashioned way with hard work and dedication. I always joke that Taylor listens better than most of the kids on the team and he's deaf. And Taylor has a message for everyone. He's not disabled. Oftentimes, the only hurdle that we have is the way that hearing people see us. But he is really fast. There are no barriers because we are just like them. We just communicate differently. Message received. In Milwaukee, Tim Elliott, WISN 12 News.